Hello and welcome to today's first trial of the Skype for Business recording uh, to present CRR training. My name is Mark Sunderland. I'm a partnership specialist out of Idaho and I'm assisting in the effort. Today I want to show you how to use Skype for business, which is on all of our laptops, to record your presentation. So what I'm going to do first, right now you can't see anything on the screen, there's nothing broadcasting from my camera, and I'm going to start and share my desktop. So you will see my computer as it um, starts to share what I have. And so when that pops up, your screen will now change the view uh, within your Skype window will now show my desktop. If you want to make that full size, then you'll see it at the same size I have it, which will be helpful. But first and foremost, I want to show you how to use Skype for Business to start a meeting and record it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our presentations that we have, present them using Skype while we record ourselves, and then upload them to YouTube for all of our CRRs to easily access. So right now, uh, we'll just close down the stuff I don't need, and on my desktop, I will open my Skype for Business app. Uh, sometimes you have it sitting over here in the right-hand side of your screen, uh, but it is always at the bottom here on your screen. When I click it, it has the two uh, boxes. One is our actual meeting we're in, the other is your normal window, and it should look like this, where you have your people, your directory of uh, colleagues or associates that you're working with. And to start a meeting, you'll want to go over to the calendar tab and click meetings. And then you click meet now. When you do that, it will start since I have already done this prior to starting this conversation. Uh, my second window is already the meeting that we have. And so it starts a window like this. And it shows, uh, you know, if you have a profile picture, if not, it's just like a little silhouette and this is your meeting, and it's just a meeting for one. At the top you see conversation one participant. That's because it's the design of this is for you to be able to record your presentation. So from there, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go open up your PowerPoint presentation. So you go down to your PowerPoint, open it up. I have done this ahead of time and have an MQA slide deck ready to go. So what I'm going to do, so you, you can pause the video right now if you want to and go pull that up, get that ready, and then unpause it when you're ready because we're just going to continue on at this point. Uh, so once you have your presentation pulled up from wherever it's stored on your computer, you then go back to your Skype window. And uh, from here, when you are ready to give the presentation, because as of right now, once you start the meeting, it's just a meeting. There's a little timer up here at the top. Um, but when you're ready to do the presentation, you want to turn on your recording feature. So right here where mine says pause recording years will actually say start recording. Um, and then at the end, you, you can hit stop recording or when you close the meeting, it automatically stops and it will save the file of your meeting. So from here, um, I am going to, so you, you will worry about that recording feature here in a second, but I'm just going to show you how to do your presentation and then when it's time for you to record yourself uh, you want to get everything ready first so you go down here and you click share your desktop and then it creates a yellow box around the perimeter of your desktop uh, so it puts the whole thing so anything on your desktop is now what's being shared you can also choose share window uh, which would mean if I change it from share desktop to share window, I then choose my PowerPoint presentation and click share and it takes it into PowerPoint. So just my PowerPoint is what is being shared. Now you'll see that you are seeing my PowerPoint as if I were editing it. So I have the big single slide here in the center and then the directory off to the side. To put that into presentation mode, I then come up here and click the uh, start from beginning and then that would put me right into it. Um, and I'm going to start it from right where we are right now. And so now you see it full screen. And now we're looking at the YMQA with my bullet points. When I click my arrow, it takes me to the next bullet point. I'm in this already. Uh, you can see all the, the different slides we have here. And because of this, this is how you'll be able to facilitate your training. 
Now, because we're in the slideshow mode, one thing you'll want to notice is if you have notes that you'll want to read from, some of you probably created notes. Uh, so right here on the bottom of my screen, I go down below the slide and I pull up. There's this notes feature where you can type in anything you want to remember while you're sit while you're speaking. Uh, is all right here that you could type in. If you have done that ahead of time, then you'll want to print these slides out so you can reference those while you're doing the training. Because in the training mode, um, in the presentation mode, you won't be able to access it. And so for the presentation to be clean, uh, you'll leave it like this in the, in the full present mode. But for your own personal benefit, having either handwritten notes or you put them into your PowerPoint and then print them off showing the notes. Um, those, those are all ways in which you can get yourself ready for this. So now you've, you've seen how you can go in and share the presentation uh, from within. I will then switch my sharing mode back over to desktop. So right now I'm doing stuff behind the scenes, but you can't see it. You just see the slide deck. So I'm going to go and share my desktop again. So now you can see my Skype window here. And uh, my controls here, the, the share controls has several pieces, um, but really just the share desktop or share window. If you're doing a training on, say, Rome, and you want to use Rome, then you say share desktop, uh, and then you navigate over to your web browser and pull up Rome so that you can then use that as part of your presentation. You know, if I were, if I had done this ahead of time, I would have you know, my Rome pulled up over here on the, the uh, web browser. And then I could just toggle over to it and say, now I'm showing everyone Rome. You know, it's going to load. We pull up and then and do all the training we want to with Rome on how to <clears throat> read and interpret that. So that is how you use the presentation features. And you can then present the material you want to your audience. Uh, the idea is this presentation will be taken and saved, and then we will upload it to YouTube, and our uh, RMs will provide this information to their CRRs and be able to uh, verify with them any questions they have or concerns or, or answer questions, uh, make sure that the, the training made sense to them. So from here, let's say that the training is now over. I am needing to finish. I can come in here and hit stop recording and it will stop recording everything I'm saying. So the second I say that, you will stop hearing what I'm talking about because you're now listening to this from a recording I did prior. Um, another way to stop it is if I end the call here, since I'm the only person in the call, when I end this call, it will automatically stop the recording. Uh, so those, those are your two options. I will just use this stop recording button here and um, before I do that, though, I want to show you the next piece. When you hit stop recording, you will then have a copy of this actual recording saved to your desktop. It'll be somewhere inside the computer. And the way you find it is this manage recordings button. So when you hit stop recording, it'll stop the recording. And then you open this little file window back up and hit manage recordings. And it pulls up a listing of recordings. So this is the one that's in process right now. And when uh, you see it has size zero, length zero, that's because we're, it's still recording. It has not saved it. When I hit stop recording, this window will then change and tell me um, what I need to know. Uh, you know, once it's uploaded, it'll have length and size and the location where it is saved on my computer. So uh, because we are going to want to show you how to access that, because you'll need to save this and send it to me, um, actually save it to the shared drive. We'll go and get this one right here that's a completed one. I hit browse and it pulls up the window where these are saved. You can see it's a location here on the network. And what I want you to do is I want you to take this and you right click it and say copy. And then you're going to come over to the M share drive, the LARCC share drive. You're going to go into partnership. And you go into the MQAs. And I want you to just save it here. This is where you're going to save it. So then you right click inside that folder and say paste. Oh, did I miss it? Uh oh, 
where is paste there it is okay so I was accidentally selecting uh, one of the files before so if you come in here and there's no paste option it's because you selected a file so go off to the side right click and then you can paste and it will paste that original recording of mine which was 70 megabytes these are too big for us to email to each other so right here you now have this recording saved and then I can take it and go upload it into YouTube and then once I do that I'll uh, have another video on showing how to access those videos. So, thank you for your time. I am going to go into Skype now and stop this recording. And we'll see you on the next one.